Hi there, my name's Annette. Welcome to Sunbeam Fabric Art. Today I'm going to take you through my September Bird of the Month. It's a foundation paper piece pattern that I designed. And here is the bird. Let me glance at that. That's called a green kingfisher. I saw my first green kingfisher down in Texas um, a year or two ago. And it's a, it's a beautiful bird and I just want to take you through this pattern today. On page one, we have the photo of the pattern with color. Page two has the sections that we will be putting together, as well as the instructions at the bottom of the page. The next four pages contain the actual pattern pieces. Three of these pieces overlap onto more than one page, and we'll be taping those together. The fun part is choosing fabric. I chose this light green fat quarter for the background. I chose this green with metallic flakes in it for the back of the bird and the head. I've got this polka dot. I'm going to fussy cut some black for the eye out of there. I've got three shades of gray, a light, a medium, and a dark gray, a brown for the tree. I've also got a little bit of this red for the breast of the bird and a little bit of white. Step one for me is always cutting apart all the pattern pieces, and then I will be cutting out fabric to match each pattern piece. Some of the pieces overlap more than one page. Now here's a close up of, I've put some tape on the edge of this and you can see how I kind of cut it at a zigzag. That makes it easier for me to see the line where these two will join up, where these two pieces will join up. Now it's time to start cutting out pieces of fabric to match my pattern. Now it's important to know if your pattern is right side up, your fabric should be wrong side up. Here I've got the fabric right side up, so I flipped my pattern piece wrong side up. This will make sure that it's the right size for your pattern piece. For pieces that have multiple pieces, I usually try to keep those numbered pieces in order, so I cut them out in the order they are numbered, and I make a little stack so that when I take this to the sewing machine, I'll, they'll be in the right order for me to stitch them together, starting with one, adding to two, adding three, adding four, and, and on and on till the piece, till that particular section is completed. When each section is complete, I make a little stack and keep that handy. With all those sections in a pile, I'm going to take you through the very first section, which has the part of the eye in it, which is section A. So piece one and two are a gray and a, a dark gray and a light gray. And then piece three is a part of the bird and four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way around. We're just gonna put these together in number order. I'm gonna start by taking the first two pieces, place them right sides together then I am going to place them overlapping the line that I will be sewing on, which is the dividing line between piece one and two. 
overlap them at least a quarter an inch so I have a seam allowance. Using a 1.8 stitch length or less, I stitch the line between piece one and two. Then I will trim off any excess. Then I will open the seam and press it. Now we're ready to add piece three. We're going to place that right sides together on the back of our unit. It's gonna go right sides to right sides. We are going to overlap the line between two and three by a quarter of an inch. Then we will stitch on the line between two and three, trim away excess thread, trim away excess bulk, and press the seam open. Here you can see I'm folding down to the line between two and three, kind of pressing that down. I'm trimming away excess bulk. I want to leave at least a quarter of an inch there, and then I'll press that open. Now it's time to add piece four. We're going to put that right sides together with the unit on the back side of the unit. We're going to overlap the line between three and four by at least a quarter of an inch. And I've got it wrong sides up here and I'm kind of trying to figure out the best way to sew this onto the back. Once I've got that positioned properly and I can see I've got that quarter inch seam overlapping the line that I'm going to stitch, I can take this to the sewing machine. Once I stitch that line, I will trim my excess thread. I'll fold back the paper, trim away excess bulk from the back. Then I'll press that open. I've skipped ahead here to the last piece on this section A, and I'm just trying to figure out the best angle to make sure that whole piece is covered up. And I wanna make sure that my quarter inch seam allowance is there. I'm gonna stitch this line, then I'm going to trim away excess thread, then I'm going to fold down on the line I just stitched I will then trim away excess bulk. After pressing this piece open, I'm going to take my section A and I'm going to cut with my scissors around the outside of section A on the dotted line. This piece is small enough that I can just do this holding it in my hand and trim away everything that's outside the dotted line. Some of the bigger sections or some sections only have one piece of fabric. Those I will cut on my cutting mat with a ruler and a rotary cutter. All right, with section A done, I went on and put together the rest of my sections through the letter O. All 
All right, so some of these larger pieces, they can flop around and shift. So I like to use my rotary cutter on a cutting mat with a ruler and cut on the dotted line. Here is my completed stack of sections all trimmed up and ready to put together. I'm going to follow the instructions on my sheet which say to put A and B together and then I will add piece C. It's a good idea to keep the photo of the bird handy and the section map because sometimes it's a little confusing to figure out what goes where, what's supposed to go together. I'll be placing A and B right sides together, and I will use clips to hold them in place uh, before I stitch. I kind of open that up and double check that any lines that need to meet up or any colors that need to match do so before I stitch the line. I like to remove some of the paper. Um, some paper, when you're joining two sections together, that when you go to put that third section on those first two, some of those pieces of paper can get very deeply encased in seams. So anything that is going to get encased in another seam, I like to tear that paper away and get rid of it. Once that's done, I press these two sections apart. And now I'm ready to add section C. There is a little bit of matching that needs to happen here. I had to re-clip this section C onto A and B a couple of times to get that little piece that needed to match up in the right position. After stitching the seam, I trimmed away excess thread, trimmed away any excess paper that I didn't want to have on there, and then I pressed that open. I continued putting all the sections together in the order on the instructions. Here is my finished green kingfisher. I trimmed this block to 12 inches square. I think it turned out great. And the pattern is available for purchase on my Etsy shop. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun and I hope to see you back again real soon.